Poverty itself is not a virtue. But poverty is important to remind us to be detached. If we lack detachment in life, if we are craving all the time, if we are hoping that we will have more and more, we will always be envious of others, will be ambitious, we will fight with others, arguing, wanting to be the best, wanting to be right in everything. And so we cannot expect such people to find real peace. At the end of the day, is a question of a spirit of contentment. A spirit of contentment does not mean to say we are complacent, we are lazy. Contentment means simply to give our best, to be grateful for whatever we have, whatever we have received, not to desire more than what is given to us. It is to give our best in everything we do, always for the glory of God, for the service of humanity. A spirit of contentment means, therefore, to live our life to the fullest, in whichever capacity we are in. It doesn't mean that we need to be a manager, a CEO, or a leader to be happy. We can be happy wherever we are, provided we maximize whatever the Lord has given to us, our talents, our resources. So spirit of contentment does not mean to say, therefore, we are lazy, or we are idling our time away, or we are indifferent. No. Spirit of contentment is wanting to live that life to the fullest. Those of us who preach the prosperity gospel, promising people great wealth and riches if they give the seed money to God, and they will have even more. All these, actually, we are trying to lead our people to greater temptations, leading them astray because they are not obsessed with God. It's not because they love God. They love money. They want wealth. You look at Jesus. Look at the apostles. They are not rich at all. But did they have a rich life? Of course. The richest life can only be found in Jesus, in those who give themselves fully to the Lord, what makes us really happy in life? It is living a meaningful life. A meaningful life basically is reduced to relationships. If you look at the most powerful and the richest people in the world, how many of them are really happy, even though they are so wealthy and so powerful? That's why the happiest people are not found in affluent countries. Because happiness is more than having things, acquiring things. Happiness is more than just having a status. This craving and greed have destroyed so many lives and families and societies. It is important, my dear brothers and sisters, to keep ourselves in perspective. The real happiness at the end of the day, it is making use of our money, of our resources, for the love of the family, love of our friends. That is the first level. Second level, for the poor. That is why you notice many great rich people, they found the meaning in life only when they become philanthropists. It is only when they learn to reach out to the poor and see the joy in their faces, then they begin to appreciate the money the Lord has given to them. Otherwise, it's all figures. It's a number which they will never make use of them anyway. They are busy attending board meetings, making money, growing the company. They have no time for real relationships. Even family breaks down. But if we put our family first, we put the poor, and put our relationship with God, then certainly we'd be very happy.